mukbang. <laughs> and today, the food is my favorite food. Pizza. 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 So today, I have some donatos. And I got the founder's favorite. Oh, yes. <laughs> mm. Yes. Show that founder's favorite. Y'all. <laughs> <laughs> And then, um, Kelsey got, wait, I got pizza. Um, I got two pizzas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna eat it all, but I was a little hungry, so I accidentally oh got goodness. cheese only, but I got extra cheese. So, <laughs> yeah, yes, with that pan crust. And then this one don't look as appetizing, but it tastes good. <clears throat> Girl. I didn't get extra cheese. But it's stuff crust. Yes. I used to get stuff crust all the time as a kid. Let me show you that real quick. Okay, I don't want you to crust out. But it is the bomb. What? That's not gross. That looks Does good. It? This one is cheesy as the other one. Girl. But I love. Yeah, I already had a piece. Sharing is caring. I'm sorry. I got hungry. Okay. All right. Let's get started. Oh God, thank you for this food. Please let it be a nourishment to our bodies. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, y'all. So we do have some things that we wanted to talk about today, like relationships and men and all that good girl talk. Guys, too, y'all can join. But um, girl chat, girl time. <laughs> girl, can I have one of yours first? Yes. That looks so good. I'm sorry. Mm, but before we get started, fun fact. The first pizzeria ever in the U.S. of A. It's called Lombardi's. It's in New York, New York. They've been making pizza since 1905. And the first time I went to New York, since I love pizza, I had to get some. Was it good? Okay. So... <laughs> <laughs> Lombardi's. Okay. Okay. That means it was good Lombardi's. Oh. So Timbus, for everybody who eats pizza like Timbus, she always takes the toppings <laughs> off and eats them. And then she eats the pizza. I grew up with kids that do the same thing. So, yeah. she's Now she's my adult friend that does it. I've literally been doing this since I was like four. Mm -hmm. I can't help it. And then if the cheese is not like hot enough, I just peel it off and don't even eat it. Mm -mm. I don't know. No, I had a friend that didn't even eat the toppings. Really? And mm -hmm. she just pulled it off and ate the pizza. Oh my goodness. I well, definitely I need pizza. to do some sit-ups after this. Because <laughs> I still got my tomato. Mm. So I have three things. So the first one is is it possible to be faithful? The second one is gonna be what do you look for in a guy? And the third one is gonna be why do you think men cheat? Okay. Okay. Yep. <laughs> so what's the first question? Is, you, is it possible to be faithful? Yes. It is possible to be faithful. Something I always say, well, I learned it from my parents, but people are going to do what they want to do. Like, period. So mm -hmm. if you want to be in a relationship and be faithful, you're going to do that. If you don't want to, you're not going to. I think it's simple as that. Mm -hmm. Well, I know I'm a faithful type. I know if I want to be with somebody, I don't hear that being a problem. But, what about you? It definitely is possible to be faithful. Mm -hmm. I just think for men and women too, mm -hmm. temptation out there is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to be in a relationship, yeah. 
you gotta fight temptation. Like you gonna see somebody that you find attractive and stuff, but don't let that distract you from who you already got and ruin. But yeah, is it really worth it? It's not. Um, I think it's harder for men to be faithful because there is a lot of women like that don't mind having that side chick title. Yeah. Or they thrive off of knowing that he is in a relationship and they're like, oh, okay, he's in a relationship, but he's giving me attention still. So it makes them feel, I don't know, better about themselves. Who knows? Um, Which I think is not. I can think of somebody who cheated on, well, was about to cheat on her boyfriend because um, it was a long distance relationship. And there was somebody close by that was giving her attention and so did, did you do that nope shut up no why does it look like a somebody peeled it off <laughs> Ew. no i'm not eating that one it's just a small bite i'm just playing look at this y'all that does look like somebody bit it right here that's nasty i'm not eating that okay okay but go ahead i'm sorry Oh, no, that's fine. I'm just, oh, I just said I know somebody that she didn't on her boyfriend or I don't know. I don't think she would call it that. But it was a long distance relationship and she started to not care because her boyfriend was not close by. I uh, said so things about long distance relationships. Like you really got to really trust that person. Because mm -hmm. you don't know what they're doing. But yeah. I do feel it is definitely possible to be faithful. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, the second one. What do you look for in a guy? Mm. I'm be honest, honey. For Tell the truth. Yes. Don't sugarcoat nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm probably a little different. Okay. I have um values i have christian values so um yeah he would have to have the same or it wouldn't work out okay so he has to have you know the values that you have mm -hmm. um what else like would you like him to he wants to be nice to me i mean dag on it i mean i think that's such a basic Thing, but I see a lot of people in relationships where their dude is just mean. Like, uh -huh. just be nice. Um, it sounds silly, but I mean, uh, it's lacking. Um, I would prefer that he would be like a problem solver, um, a critical thinker. It's not like a job interview, don't it? Um, hopefully he likes kids because I love them. Um, knows how to spend money. Mm. Yeah. Because I'm not going to work my butt off and then come home. I don't know. I'm finding out I got spent, you know, foolishly. Because um, I'm a saver. I feel hey. like money is a big thing, especially in marriages. Mm -hmm. And you got to be a communicator. I like to address stuff immediately. I do not like to... Um, hold on to stuff for a long period of time. Like as soon as that problem is like, nope, let's talk about it. So communication is key. Yes. No. I'm. I've dated somebody who liked to keep how he felt to himself all the time, and so we got in arguments because I couldn't read his mind. Like, oh, I don't. The I don't, worst thing. I don't have time for that. Just speak. Mm -hmm. Say what you need, what you want, how you feel, and like it all can be just. It's easier. Way easier. What I look for in a guy is all of the above. <laughs> <laughs> no, like loyalty, um, genuinely knows how to love, um, has a good head on his shoulders, um, knows how to communicate, like she said. Communication is everything to me. I cannot 
understand not knowing things like please don't do that to me <laughs> and um goofy like me has a good sense of humor mm -hmm. and it's creative with the relationship like to make it like stay fun just mm -hmm. think of things so we don't get tired of each other <laughs> No, that's fine. Just keep it fine. That's mm -hmm. fine. Yeah. Have a good family. Well, we can't really control if you have a good family. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I have a coworker that wants to work every holiday just so she doesn't have to be with her in laws. <laughs> so tragic <laughs> I mean I have more but still it's just not on the floor okay I'm gonna close this okay, okay. so yeah and the third one is why do you think now when I ask this this is this is has nothing to like try to just bash men or anything so don't y'all think that. Because y'all could do that for women. Why y'all think women cheat? <laughs> but why do you think men cheat? Well, it's because I think they're looking for those qualities. Maybe their, person, their partner doesn't have. Mm -hmm. I don't know. selfish oh I don't care cheating is selfish no. yeah so I go well it's a pretty simple answer for that though for real what? because it's just weak mm -hmm. weak minded if you can just I don't know I just feel like cheating is just stupid because why don't you just break up with the person? Right. If you don't want to be with them no more. Instead of hurting them. Yeah. It, it just could be all be so simple. Mm. And I'd be feeling bad because I feel like it's such a normal thing now for cheating and stuff that women just kind of settle and just take the man back. But I just feel like taking them back only messes up your mind even more. I think culturally, yeah. like, multiple relationships is, like, in right now. That's probably part of it. That's true. You know what I mean? I don't know. People act like it's lame to be monogamous or something. Like, it's not. It's, I don't know. I just know. I, I wouldn't want to meet you, though. And if I took them back, I wouldn't be able to stop thinking about it. Mm -mm. I wouldn't. So, yeah. Does it depend on how he cheats? Cheating is cheating. Anything that you have to do, if you have to hide it, delete it, that's cheating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Allowing another female into into the circle and get into the circle is a no no I'm not into sister wives okay <laughs> I'm not it's not gonna happen mm -hmm. I don't always be a cute man y'all always gotta cheat dang oh my god because they have more options Oh, can I have 
Yeah, and then I'm like, oh, do you want that? It's okay. Yeah, let's see, once I taste it, I don't know. Yeah. I wanted it. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, I like talking about like stuff like that because it's it's the everyday thing. And I and for real, ladies out there that's getting cheated on, y'all need to go. Let them go. And I know, especially if you got kids, it's hard. But it's so worth it. <laughs> it is so worth it. Save your sanity. It's not good for you or your kids in the atmosphere. Right? Don't you feel that? Yeah. I don't know, but girls are taking our dudes back these days. There are famous people out there that probably make it seem because they go back to their men. So it's probably making people think like, okay, if they can do it, I can do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, stick it out. But I feel like that term, through thick and thin, men take that <laughs> advantage of that saying. Because when I say through thick and thin, it ain't why you cheating and stay with you. No. Because if it was the other way around, honey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like they have a lower tolerance for cheating. They do. Way lower. It's, it, yeah, definitely a lower tolerance. Mm -hmm. They salty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. Mm -mm. But now, you guys, I am single. So anybody out there that's looking... <laughs> So is Kelsey, a good godly Christian man. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Shoot. <clears throat> but Christian, that be cheating too. You ain't lying. <laughs> you be most in the church. <laughs> you go to church too cheap. <laughs> That's where they find their wives. Or their mistresses. Okay. No. I think I ate enough bread. Mm. And this is all for, like, this is all fun, so don't be, um, getting sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. Besides cheating, what are, what are the reasons do you think people don't stay together? Because the divorce rate's like 60% in America right now. I would say, like I said, I mean, communication, not knowing how to spend your money right. Um, I've never been married, but I'm guessing in marriage. Um, staying sexually active with each other. That's legit. And that definitely is. Oh my gosh. I'm guessing a big, big factor. Um, I think today. What? Okay. <laughs> yeah, it made, it made me like, um, I think a lot of people get married for the wrong reasons. So just to have a title. Yeah, just to have a title. Um, it's not very genuine. Um, it's like you didn't even really think through if the person would be a good life partner or not. Like, you know what I mean? That's true. A lot of dudes like they'll marry a girl just because she's cute, and then we're finding out she ain't wife material at all. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, cause she looks good on your arm, but. She can't do nothing else for you. You know what I mean? Well, stop. <laughs> Did you want more? <coughs> not good. No, I like it. Oh, no. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but yes, that's true. But Ooh. I can't, I can't, I really hope one day I will be married and I will be able to say, well, my husband, he's at work today. My husband, he, he went to go get the pie. My <laughs> husband, he got the kids. <laughs> Took him to the park. <laughs> my husband, my husband, my husband. You I can't will. wait to say that. Yeah, you will. I'm trying to think. I give Tempest three years tops. That's too far away. It is. Mm -hmm. Time is flying. Don't you feel like three years ago was just yesterday? Plus, you got a date. I got you. And let it develop. Dating. Dating is something else. But yeah, we'll do that on another topic. Woo! I'm just getting sick. All right, you guys. I'm cool. Thanks for joining the combo.
Yeah. We'll see you later. We'll be right back another time. We enjoy eating our pizza and letting you watch it. We'll be right back. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> now, you guys, so if you like the video, please make sure you give us a thumbs up. Go ahead and share and subscribe and hit that bell so you get notifications of a new video. We'll see y'all next time. Bye. Bye, y'all.